When was the last time you coughed? <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Shuja here, and welcome to another episode of the Shuja Inquirer, a show where I inquire about stuff that I'm interested in. So, today's episode, I'm really excited because I'm talking to this really good friend I made while we were both in Boston University, and I mean, uh, he's crazy, he's rich, and he's definitely Asian, so without further ado, please give a round of applause to the one and only, the real living, crazy rich Asian from Singapore, Mr. Guanhua Lee. <laughs> Okay, can you see me? Can you see me? Yep, I can see you. Wow. <laughs> How does it feel to be a crazy rich Asian? Nobody is crazy rich here, man. Like, everyone is right. just normal. I mean, now as an Asian, and then especially if you are a Chinese, it's not really a good thing right now, you know? When you cough, people would just want to avoid you. Tell me any one story of a crazy party that you went to in Singapore. One. Like, there must be one great story that happened. And then we just went out and drank. But, you know, it's, it's, it's not as crazy. You don't get people you know, dancing Wait. off the table. No, 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 no. no. I want to no, know that... the real parties. The, the real, the ones you see, the one you saw in Crazy Rich Asian on the island, they're popping bottles. Oh, I'm sorry, there's no, no such party exists. <laughs> Everybody goes to Singapore to do shopping. Everybody goes there to... Do uh, to party. I'm sure life is like that over there for you too, right? Like I'm an IT guy. I work nine to six. I take the metro. I'm not crazy rich. I'm just Asian. Asian in Singapore. Eighty <laughs> percent of Singaporeans stay in public housing. We call it um, BTO, so built to order. If there's no crazy parties happening, no. you can't own a house. Then why did you choose? to go back to Singapore instead of living in the United States. By the way, for everybody else, both of us graduated from BU at the same time, and he had the choice to stay here in America. Instead, he said, you know what? I'm packing my bags. I'm going back to Singapore because something's out there for me. So America is great. Like everything is great. You get you get you can go to grocery stores and you get two dollars just for a cup, a whole gallon of milk. You get a lot of food. Right now, it's impossible. Right now, it's impossible. Right now, it's impossible. Like, economic is great. There's plenty of job opportunities. The economy is bad right now. The economy is bad right now. It's the worst since 2008. So it's not good right now. Well, the reason... I can't really disclose right here. Uh, but, you know... Oh, my God. But the emotional part of me still belongs to Singapore. So oh, that's why... Oh, 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 oh. Emotional. Emotional. You're going to have a real honest moment right now, okay? Right. What do you think about Malaysia? If I'm a Singaporean and if I go into Malaysia, I think I'm crazy rich. You know why? <laughs> because the exchange rate, exchange rate is one, is to three. You know, where, where do you see that happening? Like in, in Mexico and the US? You're saying Malaysia is Southeast Asia's Mexico right now. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with Malaysia? is probably their politics. So they have this policy that favors Malay. There will never be equality like equality like you have in Singapore. All race are the same. Remember we went to Harvard and MIT? Yeah. And we went to the Singapore Student Associations. You say there is equality in Singapore, but everybody I met over there was just Chinese. What happened to the Indians and the Malays and the other Statistically, like Singapore is mostly Chinese dominated. Like we Chinese, we have, we know that we want to work hard, you know, and that's why they are all there. Everybody except for Chinese is lazy in Singapore. The Tamilian Indians, the, the Malays, they're all lazy, except for the Chinese who are so hardworking and focused that, you know, they made I it to. This, this can't go online every day. <laughs> what is the COVID-19 situation in Singapore? Um, well, you want the honest opinion or like the funny one? The opinion that does not get you in trouble. <laughs> um, Singapore government is really, really thinking ahead, being really ahead of the curve, putting in all kinds of measures to stop the spread of COVID-19. Thank you so much Lee, <laughs> for uh, spending time with me. Uh, I hope you one day do become a crazy 
a rich Asian. You did the Asian part. You watch my videos. Do like them. Do subscribe my videos. Definitely. Okay. I want to see yeah. every like. I want to see all your likes on my video. Okay. Yep. All I the videos that I make. It. Share videos. Yeah. Share it. Subscribe it. I don't care if it means nothing to you. We can have a second part. You know, it was great. Definitely, we can do no, a second. No, 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 no. Second, we don't need a second season. No, okay. Bye, bye, bye. No, no second part. No, that's it. No, 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 no. Bye, bye, bye. bye.